Hello everyone, I'm Mark. Welcome back to our channel. Today uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we normally done in the past. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of background first. Um, a couple of friends of mine are avid fishermen. They love to fish. They go fishing all the time. They catch huge fish and um, they've invited me along a few times and <laughs> I, I've got to have the worst luck when it comes to fishing. I mean, I remember even as a little kid, we would go fishing and everybody else would be catching fish around me and I would just drown in worms. I, I just, for some reason, I'm just not a lucky fisherman. And I told them this, I said, listen, you, you guys, you go fishing and, and they'll go fishing one day and they'll come back and say, oh man, they, they, they're they jumping on our lines. You know, we couldn't get them reeled in quick enough and there's another fish on our line. And I told them, I said, well, you know, and they invited me to go along with them. And I said, well, you're wasting your time. Nothing's going to happen. So we went. And uh, first couple times we went to Sebastian Inlet uh, in Florida and nothing. I mean, we all I did was drown shrimp all day. Uh, I think I caught a couple little tiny ones, but uh, I mean, the you know, bait was almost bigger than the fish I was catching. So I, I told them, I said, see, I told you I'm unlucky. Uh, I don't like fishing because I'm unlucky at it. And they kept trying to convince me, no, just a bad day. Something happened and anything. So uh, today will be the fourth time I've gone fishing with them. This time we actually hired a boat captain, a charter service, to take us out and take us fishing, take us to the good spots. Now, the one friend of mine, which his name is Mark too, um, he, he lives in Hernando Beach. He's, he's got property there, he's got a house there, and um, he lives right on the waterway, just minutes from the Gulf. Uh, he, he can jump in his boat behind his house, drive right to the, to the Gulf and go fishing. So. Anyway, he, he met this this uh, charter boat captain, and he's he's used him a couple times. They've gone out, and he showed me pictures. Man, they're catching them. They're catching all kinds of stuff. Snook, redfish, you name it. They're catching a huge fish. And so we decided last week we were going to hire the charter guy, me and, and Mark, another friend of ours, Dave, and we were going to go fishing. Okay. Well, anyway, last week the weather turned bad. There was a cold front coming in. We were supposed to go Friday. The, it was going to be high winds, 40 mile an hour winds. So we canceled and rescheduled for Monday. Uh, so uh, we, we decided to go Monday. I get up Monday morning. It was 47 degrees out when I came outside. Cold. And I don't like being cold. So anyway, I had this, this winter coat on. I got my hat on. I head down, uh, Hernando Beach is about 45 minutes south of where we live here in Dunellen. And so we get there about seven, it's freaking cold, <laughs> okay. So we go we go down to the boat ramp, meet the guy, the, the captain there, it's Captain Ozzy Winchester. Really nice guy, he's got a great company, great, he, he, he's really a good uh, charter boat captain. He's very knowledgeable, he knows where all the spots are. Um, and he's just a pleasant guy to be around. He's, he's got a lot of good sense of humor and a lot of good stories and stuff. So um, anyway, we go meet him down there and it's it's probably, I don't know, it might be 50 degrees at that point. Okay. Now, anybody that's been out on, on water, you know, 50 degrees on land and 50 degrees on water is like night and day. So we're, we're idling out through the no wake area and we get out to where we can go full steam and he kicks that boat down and it's like I felt like in the movie Dumb and Dumber you know when they're on that scooter so duh, 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 duh. and I got my winter coat on all bundled up around me and the winds hit me and I'm just freezing you know and and so we, we have to go a ways probably 10 minutes to the first spot we're gonna drop anchor and try to do some fishing and <laughs> we get there I'm so cold I can't hardly hold my pole and and even once you stop it's still cold out on the water so we fished there a little bit and anyway i'll show you the video and that stuff and I'll, i don't want to go into too much of what we did there but anyway uh um this ozzy winchester he, he's got uh a youtube channel so i'll have the, the link below where you can you can uh, go to his uh channel or give the information so you can go to his channel and view some of his videos and if you're ever in the hernando beach area and you're wanting to charter a boat i highly recommend this guy He's very reasonably priced. He's he's very patient. He he knows fishing. He knows what what uh, type of bait, whether it's artificial or live bait, to use for what type of fish you're going for. He he's got a lot of secret spots where you can go to, and 
and normally catch fish. Again, I think part of the problem was that first off, it was so cold. We had a cold front come in and it was cold Monday. And uh, plus we were fishing with the tide coming in and he said, depending on water temperatures, air temperatures, the tide, everything makes a difference on if the fish are gonna hit or not. And um, he tried everything he could to get us to have a really good day fishing and, and uh, um, it just, the weather and everything was against us a little bit. Plus I was there and I kept telling him, I said, I told you guys, I'm unlucky when it comes to fishing. And um, they kept saying, no, 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 no. But I think at the end of this day, after the type of fishing Mark had done before with this, uh, this uh, charter company, I, I think they realized too that I was correct. It is me, it's not anything else. So I doubt they'll be inviting me too much more in the future to go fishing with them. So anyway, I'll go ahead and let's roll the video for the, uh, for the fishing day. Uh, I, I had some issues with my camera a couple times and stuff, so I'm not sure how much video I'm going to have of really good fishing or anything. Uh, another thing, we, 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 seen, uh, we seen dolphins several times near the boat as we were out and about. And we were, we were parked at one spot and, and there was manatees swimming around in the water. And I kept, I, I, was, I was facing this way, the manatee was over to the right of us. And somebody would say, oh, there's a manatee. And by the time I'd get my camera swung around and try to find them in the water, they were gone. They didn't come completely out of the water, just their nose would come up a little bit so they can get some air, I guess. And uh, they, they weren't real close to boat at that time. I mean, they were out probably 50, 75 feet. And, and the water was a little choppy because of the, the, there was a little bit of wind and, and the water's kind of dark there. So it was really hard by the time you, you turn and find them, if they even did see them, they almost, if they are in the camera, I, I, I don't know. We'll see, I'll put some of that video in if I can see any that shows them, but they kind of blend in with water and just barely sticking their nose out and they disappear again. So there was one time when they came up right alongside the boat and they never did surface, but they were below the surface, maybe a foot or so. So you could see it looks like a, a light gray shadow coming across the, past the boat. And again, with, with the, the sun reflecting on the water and stuff, I'm not sure how much that's going to show, but I'll try to put a video in there. So, uh, and I'll try to caption it if I have it in there showing you that, you know, we were that close to the manatee. It was kind of neat. So overall, we had a really good time. We, we enjoyed the day and, and um, I did drown a few shrimp. So, <laughs> and uh, we, we mainly fished a lot of times with artificial bait. So I, I saved some shrimp, uh, but anyway, uh, we'll go ahead with the, the rest of the video. Thanks. Hello everyone, I'm Mark. Uh, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a little something different today. Uh, I'm actually meeting up with a couple of buddies of mine and we're chartering a boat and going and doing some fishing. I'm down in Hernando Beach, Florida. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. I think it's about 7.30. The sun's finally coming up and you can see the, the sunrise. The sky is beautiful today. And we're at the park here. This we're going to meet the guy that's uh, going to take us fishing. So uh, we'll get down here and see if we can find him. Today our captain is going to be Captain Ozzy Winchester. Here's his information. Uh, he does charter fishing here in the Hernando Beach. He's very popular on YouTube. Uh, if you can, uh, watch his channel. And, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, it is. Dave, this boat's incredible. Wait till you see how shallow it will go. Oh, did I mention I get violently seasick every time I get in a boat? <laughs> you won't get seasick on that. <laughs> it's gonna be cold, buddy. That's where I got this winter coat on. What time is it, yeah? Oh. Seven forty-eight. Okay. So. I'll try. What do you want to do, man? I gotta look at the meat real good though. Cause last time when I was in New Smyrna and they had worms in it, I didn't want to eat them no more. Oh, in the fish? <laughs> well, we're gonna start on the outside here. Okay. Tide's coming in. We're gonna 
going to drift through here and drift this little section and see if we find anything. We've got a few spots that we're going to do this. Okay. Um, try to give it a little bit of time to warm up, get you moving. It's 46 on Dunellen right now. It's cold. And you're in shorts, aren't you cold? Oh no. <laughs> I warm up. I got a winter coat on. I'm cold. Oh, uh, we are. Right. I don't like. I like wearing. I think jeans. once the sun gets up, it'll it'll be better. Oh, but right. yeah, we will give it about 30, 40 minutes. Don't worry about the little bit for you. I just want dirt right here. It's good. Well. It's a powder body, it should be every cast. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Durham. I've had bad boat guys before. Oh. I got one. It's not very big. That's good, Whoa. That's like a bait fish. When they get bigger, you don't want to try to lift them into the boat. Oh. I'll, I'll run up real quick with the net. Because okay. Because they, uh, real soft mouth and they'll start shaking. Oh, and they'll pull out? Yeah. What is that? That's a speckled sea trout. So we're going for 15 inches. What is that? Is that's a what? That's probably about 48 inches long. 48 something like that. And a half, uh, yep. Yeah, no. 40. <laughs> cool. Hey, cool. Hey, hey Derby, do what the harbor does. He just takes over. Your plate, that's what he does every time. Where are you at? See that? He just takes your plate. Right, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Go ahead and play it. Go ahead and play it. Oh, don't think that's just you because he's doing it for his wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, her. No, I don't like that. Well, let's see. Who caught the first fish? Yes! The guy that doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did you bring it in? Yeah. I didn't see it. <laughs> what, did it come off? The bird. The bird had it. The bird had it? <laughs> I thought you had a fish and it popped off the hook. Lost my hat. What kind of hat is it? Air camp. A good one? Yeah. We made a big sweep of turn, but there's a lot of rocks out here. Oh. Uh. Throw your rod and catch it. <laughs> I think she's gone. All right. Uh, I see it. Where's that? Straight ahead. Left. No, that's a bob. That's a bobber thing uh, there. Right ahead. Right here. Dang, you got good eyes. I don't see anything. Is that it way out there? It's over there. <laughs> oh, is that it right there? That's it. Where? Right, right here. here. Oh, okay. You want to see that? No. Yeah. Keep it's Pick got it a fish head. in it. That's right. I'll put it on your head. I saved my hat. Good. <laughs> yeah, I, cool. I leave no... <laughs> <laughs> well, when you got a bald hat or a bald head, they're pretty important. I'm a hat guy, so I, I hate losing a hat.
lot of oyster beds through here, a lot of rocks in there, a lot of rocks and slime rocks. Oh, sorry to get one. I think I pulled too soon. No, you keep working it because... Oh, there. See? Uh, it, keeps, it keeps taking it down, but it doesn't feel like much. It must be a small one. It could be a hog. Oh, see there it goes. Oh, I got him. It's not very big. It's a monster. Oh, okay. I got my camera on it. Yeah. What is that now? A lizard fish. A lizard fish. Yeah. That's pretty See cool. The teeth they got. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. Yeah, a lot of times when we're getting stuff, that's usually what it is. I'll get out of your way here. Oh, you're, Go you're, ahead. you're good. You're good. I'll cast the cross. Yeah. Oh, getting something else already. Get him, Derby. You got him. Not very big, though. Do they trout? No, I I don't know. It doesn't feel like one. Oh. Yep. Found the hole of them. Well. Stay away from that. <laughs> yeah. A I get this one. That might be damaged. Whoa! So what? Did y'all want to keep some today? Yeah, we got a grill ready for when we get. What is that? So this is a speckled, speckled sea trout. Same thing. Oh, okay. I'll get a measurement on it. Those are good eating. Hook them from the outside. That's professional. That's what I do for you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that one wasn't coming off. I guess. Are they good eating? I guess they're good eating. I don't eat a lot of trout. But cool. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I'll test. You like keeping fried. it? Yep, that's at 17. Well, you eat fried. Good, right? Yep. Is it on the barbecue all right? We'll, How's we'll it working? Put it in the grease. Take a little break here in the fishing. I am anyway, and I'm going to introduce you to our captain today. It's Ozzy Winchester, and he has Light Lines and Good Times fishing charters here in Hernando Beach, Florida. And I'm going to just turn it over to him and let him talk a little bit about his, his business here and uh, give us all more information. So, um, Captain Oz, uh, Light Lines, Good Times fishing charters. So we do all kinds of inshore stuff here in uh, the Hernando County area, working everything from Hernando Beach all the way north end of Chaz. Um, mainly all inshore stuff, nothing uh, more than a mile off coast. Um, redfish, snook, trout, sheep's head, snapper. As we get into the winter months, as we're rolling into now, we'll start doing a lot of pocket fishing, which is, you know, targeting deeper holes and different stuff, switching over to shrimp baits. And But we do live bait, artificial, a little bit of push pulling, stalking stuff. Um, pretty much just enjoying uh, the adventure coast, so. And you said you also did scalloping, you do scalloping we, charters? Yep, we and... offer scallops during season. Um, we do up to six people for those um, those trips. It's pretty easy, you know, basically everybody gets on the boat and you ride out and everybody gets to snorkel around and get a harvest limit of scallops and then we uh, go back and teach them how to clean them and show them so they can finish uh, cleaning the catch and have a good dinner. Okay, because that's what you said you don't, yeah, no, that's not part I, of the charter, cleaning the, no, it's, cleaning the scallops. That's too much yeah. for one person, <laughs> yep. And we have nowhere to really wait for it, so it's, mm -hmm. you know, couple of restaurants but they're kind of far from the ramp so oh, okay cool but it's something cool yeah. for the families to come out and experience it's if you haven't done it, it's cool to do it once and okay now is it, is it important for people if they want to charter with you to call as far in advance as possible or yep. two weeks you have... if you want to try to get a date two weeks in advance is, is you know you're pretty safe but you know it hit and miss during season we get booked out so it can be you know a month booked in advance so always sooner is better than later yeah. um, but roughly two weeks is a good 
good head heads up for it so okay and then do you have like a really busy time or slower time where people want to maybe we're busy pretty much year round mm -hmm. uh i would say probably september was our slow month this year so we kind of okay. took it time and i uh, had about a month off for that we had a couple trips mixed in but it wasn't wasn't anything to write home about but yeah so pretty much busy year round there's no bad times just uh got to work through slow parts of the year and you know make the best of it okay and you have a minimum or maximum number of people so you normally like to do three people max i always recommend two for comfort it's an 18 foot aluminum uh tunnel hall boat so it's a smaller boat um but scallop trips like i said we'll do up to six people just to fill out um because that you're getting in the water we're not really fishing you have to swing a rod around um, but three three is a max for fishing uh we start off doing four it's just too much to handle for the vessel's capacity you know okay now you said something about you're, you're looking at getting or building an airboat yep we are so. uh, branching out into that part of, so around december end of december the boat should be getting done i'm having floral city airboats build it okay. and uh, it's going to be a full tour boat set up for uh, doing airboat tours fishing trips and gigging trips at night so that'll be a new thing we'll start to offer is the gigging but uh winter time fishing with airboat it's a awesome experience you get an airboat ride out of it and you get to go and uh, check out the cool backwaters and pocket fishing. And it's like basically the best fishing experience ever because you're fishing in a barrel, basically. It's neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Now, you, and you'll still do the regular tours with, we'll with this, this boat? Well. Yep. So we'll okay. be taking and rotating days, whatever we have, filling out the days is what we'll be using the boat. Um, the airboat, we'll be able to do six people for airboat tours. And then we'll probably do four people for our fishing and gigging trips. Maybe six for gigging, but it just, it, you have to rotate. What do you people. gig, fish? Yep, so mullet, okay. sheep's head, um, black drum, you can do gar, and you know, a few different species that we, we mainly get is the sheep's head and the, the mullet. So. Cool, I've never done that. I, I'm from Illinois, we did frog gigging. You go it's, frogging it's all like the it. time, yep. And, yep. and I love frogs. I, I don't like eating frogs, but I love going frogging. It's a lot like so, that. So we'll yeah. have a, a gig rail set up on the front of the boat so you can lean against it. I'll have lighting set up, and hmm. we'll just idle along, use a trolling motor, and kind of spot out the fish and kind of show you what to do okay you can walk you through and get used to it because you get excited and want to try to get everything at first <laughs> and you got to realize what fish or what to identify and yeah yeah but well cool it's, it's, well, a cool it's pretty experience. neat i'll have to maybe come back and try that I, yep. that sounds like fun do you do that at night or during the day because the frogging yeah. you do at night with you shine a light and see their eyes yep. and that's where you fish know it will be at night and uh, we may even get into some bow fishing because i've had some clients that really oh. want to do that but we'll see it's just you know another another thing to add to the list yeah so, oh, but the airboat cool. tours is what we're probably going to have the most with the airboat. That'll be the big thing for our area because nobody's offering. Oh, so. cool. Well, we appreciate you taking us out today. We're, we're having a great time, and uh, um, we'll better get back to it. We're yeah, catching all these fish. See so. if we can get on some redfish next. There you go. Okay, well, we'll get back to the fishing then, and um, uh, let's get on with the video. Have a... Yeah, let me get out of your way here. Big enough for uh, dinner, though. Mark's got something on the line there. Oh, all right. Now, what is that? That's a redfish there. That's a redfish. That's okay. That's what we're going for. Pretty colored one. Now, is there a minimum length on those two? Yep. These are going to be 18 to 27. And that, that one's probably close to 18, isn't it? This one will make it. This one will yeah. probably be 19, maybe 20. We've caught them a lot bigger than this, trust me. Everything. This one's got some awesome color to it. Yeah. They get back here in these creeks and stuff and they get they pick up the tannic tint from the water. All right. All right, here, let me get a picture. You know we don't have to do this now. I want to get back out there because I've got all excited now. <laughs> awesome job. Yeah, I like when they're back here in these awesome. creeks. Awesome. They get cool. real dark gold colors to them. You got him? Yeah. Right. You look good. Let me just make sure he's on that side there. No, I still Don't got him. Freaking stop, I, I had to reel my I turn my camera. <laughs> right, yeah, come around. Yeah, yeah, come around this side. He's coming around this side. Don't let him slap him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, he's taking off. Here he is right there. What is it? Oh, that means we're about at the top of the tide where it's going to be Reef on the side of them Mark, Mark, and hold that catfish. Uh, huh? Hold that catfish. Me? Yeah. So I can get uh, gigged by it? Yeah. <laughs>
What? They don't do that. <laughs> I kicked one. My little brother, we had to take him to the emergency room one oh, time. Went right through his finger. I'm still hurting over here, my foot. Well, that's pretty cool, the deal there. I've been stabbed probably 15 times by them. Oh. It took me 15 times to finally go buy one. <laughs> so that's a pretty neat tool. I'm, I'm sure by the time that camera fires up. Oh, there's the other one. Yeah, the GoPro, it's hard to get because the glare on the water and stuff. Unless you're like really high up, it's hard to see. So anyway, I, I, I think um, next time uh, my, my younger brother, Greg, he loves to fish. He's really good at fishing. So uh, I think next time he comes down, I might hook him up with my buddies and have them go with him on the charter boat and, and see what fishing's all about because he, he's really good at it. And uh, I think they'll have a good day. So, Okay, I'm, I'm shooting all this after the fact. Okay, so we've already been fishing. This We went fishing Monday, which was yesterday. Today's Tuesday, November the 2nd, I believe. Anyway, um, I'm just going to put in here, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I hope I had some good shots that, that showed you the day we had. And um, anyway, I doubt if they're going to be having me go fishing with them again. But... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button and share them with your friends. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.